This was the scene outside the Ladyville Atlantic Bank branch around 2.30 this afternoon. Police officers were busy processing the scene and taking statements from bank personnel. According to Police Press Officer Sergeant Fitzroy Yearwood, the incident was a foiled robbery which sent two security officers to the hospital with gunshot injuries. Around 1.55 p.m., a young man entered the bank pretending to do a transaction. Um, whilst in the bank, he was a sole customer. A female customer approached the door where the security turned to open the door for that customer. At this time, the man that um, entered previously grabbed the security, put a gun on him, and relieved him of uh, his 9mm. A struggle ensued between both of them. Two other men rushed into the bank at this time, believed to be with the first man that entered the bank, where they covered the other security. And during this struggle, the security, Mr. Dalton Watler, was shot to the back of his head, and Mr. Ian McBean received a gunshot, another security guard, to his right leg. The shattered glass on the ground marks where the security guard struggled with the alleged armed robbers. From what we can see, it's a foiled bank robbery. Actually, the relieving of that firearm was to disarm the security, and who knows what they would have done after that. But because all this hassle began and um, the shots were fired, if you see behind me the shattered glass, it's because the security never let up. He fought, he fought with them, and eventually they ran out the building. While the perpetrators could not get a hold of any cash, police say they are treating this case as a robbery. Was Even any money was stolen? No money was stolen, but the firearm was relieved, so it's still a robbery. Police say the perpetrators are known to law enforcement authorities and believe they are closing in on the criminals, especially since the entire incident was caught on surveillance cameras. This entire compound is protected by surveillance. We have officers presently viewing the surveillance, and we know who we are looking for. Are the people you are looking for from Belize City or from Ladyville? From Belize City initially. Are they known operators in this realm? Well, they are known to the police for various crimes, actually. Meanwhile, Dalton Watler, who was shot behind the head, is listed in a critical but stable condition, whilst Eon McBean is stable with a bullet wound to the right leg. Reporting for Love News, I am Maria Novello.